Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot. I am Clipper Guy, and welcome to Men's Haircutting from A to Zoot. We're up to the letter Y, and Y is for your chair. Your client sits in your chair, and your chair is a powerful cutting tool. Your chair goes up and down. Your chair spins. Spin the chair, raise and lower the chair. I like to say, reorient the client to your cutting position. That's a fancy way of saying, hey, turn the chair. The hair cutter remains stationary and the chair turns to bring the work to you. Don't run laps around the chair trying to cut hair. Stand in one place. In traditional barbering, you will stand with your right side, your right shoulder to the mirror, your right hip to the styling station, and you will turn the client to your cutting position. Put the miles on the chair, don't put the miles on the hair cutter. And the chair goes up and down. I always like to say, you can't cut what you can't see. You can't look down on a haircut and you can't look up at a haircut to cut it well. Pump up the chair as high as you possibly can in order to let you see, especially in men's haircutting in the areas of tapering, blending, perimeters and things like that, you gotta get that work up to eye level. Barber chairs traditionally rise higher than cosmetology chairs do and one helpful hint is if you can't get the client, maybe the client's not tall enough, maybe you're a little tall. If you can't get the client up high enough, you can get a little shorter, making the client a little taller by widening your feet. Cameraman, don't pan down to my feet, but notice as I widen my feet, did I just get a little bit shorter? Yes, I did. I got a better look at my work because you can't cut what you can't see. Turn your chair, raise and lower your chair. Why is your chair in the A to Zoot of men's haircutting? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.